Hey, how's it going? And welcome to another Creation Club mod review. And this time we'll be looking at an older mod called Stendar's Hammer. And this mod is actually quite an inter interesting one. Now, originally it was released on October the 4th, 2017. So I've been a bit tardy in getting this one out. Anyway, it sold for 200 credits, which is approximately $2 or £1.80. But as with all these mods, it comes in various deals. Now, sadly, I haven't been able to find out who the mod author is, so I can't point to any more of their work. And we'll do this in the usual way, a brief overview of the quest, delve into the stats, then have a look at the aesthetics, and I'll give my thoughts at the end. So enough yapping, let's crack on. Okay, so once you've installed Stendhal's Hammer mod, the quest If I Had a Hammer, Still a Legendary Hammer of the Gods will be added to your journal, and you'll be directed to the Dwemer Museum in Markarth to steal the hammer, uh, where you'll be stopped by a guard telling you to go and see Calselmo if you want to get into the museum. Now, a lot of this may be affected by previous quests like the Book of Love or the Thieves Guild, but anyway, he will ask you to kill Nimi before he'll give you the key. Museum isn't open to anyone without the court wizard's permission. Because Calcilmo doesn't want anyone to go in. He runs the museum. He makes the rules. You have a problem with that? Go talk to him. You'll find him in front of the ruins during the day, just down the tunnel. I've been holding on to this for you. Here, I hope you like it. Good to see Skyrim still has such fine people. Correct. It's a private place where I can catalog my research. Occasionally, the Jarl will come in and have questions, but that's thankfully rare. I'll let you in if you agree to something for me. There's a giant spider in the Chuanzel. My workers call her Nimi. Poison one. If you deal with Nimi, I'll let you into both the excavation site and my Dwemer Museum. What do you say? Enthusiasm. Good. Here's the key to the dig site. What? Oh, the back. Dwemer created so many wondrous machines, and yet nobody ever followed in their footsteps. Why is that?
right? You have my gratitude. That spider had been interfering with my excavations for months. As promised, there's the key to the Dwemer Museum. Find the displays, some of them are quite frightful. What? Oh, good luck. Okay, so now we've got this little lovely, let's take a look at the stats. It comes with a, a base damage of 28 and a weight of 100. I'm not joking. <laughs> it really comes with a weight of 100. Um, and it comes with an enchantment that damages the target for 22 points and depletes 20 stamina from the wielder per hit. So it actually drains an additional 20 stamina from you. Uh, the hammer requires an ebony ingot, a flawless sapphire, and the arcane blacksmith perk, and as I understand it, the ebony smithing perk to get it fully upgraded. So the enchantment is an, an unusual one, where it causes respectable damage to the target, but drains the stamina from its wielder. Um, and as I said before, I'm guessing that it compensates for its weight, and boy, it really is bloody heavy. Uh, we're looking at slightly more than three times the weight of a dragon bone warhammer, which has the same base damage, given incredible power attack stamina cost, uh, in addition to its base stamina cost enchantment. So on the surface, this weapon looks fairly unremarkable damage-wise and pretty horrific in stamina cost. And you could argue there are many weapons far better. However, there is a hidden effect with this weapon that may change your mind. But before we go into that, I want to take uh, time to look at the great job the mod author did on this weapon. And we'll talk about all that later. The detailing on this mod is really, really nice. The textures are fantastic and it's really good work by the mod author. Um, however, because of its size, there does seem to be a... Uh, a bit of clipping into the arm when the hammer's on the char your character's back, but it's really only noticeable if you're actually looking out for it, to be honest. Okay, while we're looking at this lovely work, uh, it still has to function as a weapon. Now, I haven't had, really had a lot of time to explore this, but obviously the damage output will increase with your XP and perks in two-handed, plus any potions and enchantments on your arm, etc. However, all that aside, one perk really stands out as particularly useful for this weapon, as I've researched some really interesting info on this mod and critical damage. Now, normally, half a weapon's base damage is added as cri critical damage. However, apparently, Stendhal's hammer is 100 points of critical damage. So, if used with a great critical charge perk, it doubles that damage to 200. Now, some people say great critical charge perk doesn't work, but it does. It actually does. It just takes a lot of getting used to. Um, the resulting damage is always a critical hit and will always stagger your enemy. So... In effect, with all the right perks and enchantments, and when used with vegetable soup or beef uh, or ven venison stew, plus the great critical charge perk, Stendhal's hammer is a pretty damn useful weapon if you're a two-handed warrior. Um, probably not great at level one for sure, but it still suddenly does become a viable weapon later in your game uh, gameplay. So. All that said, uh, my thoughts on this mod, and I think it's um, really beautifully detailed and textured, a lovely looking thing, and if approached right, it makes a very powerful weapon, despite the weight and stamina costs, but it's definitely a dedicated two-handed player's weapon for sure, as you'll have to use perks and enchantment slots to get the best out of it. And remember, that weight does inhibit the amount of loot you can carry. But if you don't mind that and two-handed is your thing, then it's fairly cheap, so why not get this little beauty? Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Catch you later. Love you.